This video is going to have a look at finding the equation for the line of best fit on a scatter plot if we've estimated that line of best fit and drawn it in by hand. Because the line of best fit that we add into our scatter plots are a linear line, we can use the linear line form of y equals mx plus c to be able to determine what that linear line's equation is going to be. Now the steps required is to calculate the gradient and to calculate the gradient, we can use the formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then once we have the gradient, we can calculate the y-intercept. We can do that by either using the graph if our axes start and go continuously from zero, or we can calculate it algebraically by using the gradients and a set of coordinates from the graph and be able to substitute in to find out what our c value is going to be. So let's have a look at an example of how we can find the equation of a line of best fit. So in our example, we've got the cost of internet based on hours used per month at our local cafes, and we want to determine what the equation for the line of best fit is going to be. So because it is the linear relationship, it's going to fall into the form of y equals mx plus c. So to do that, I need to start by calculating my m value, so my gradient. And I can use the gradient formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now to be able to use that formula, I need to identify two points along my line. And I'm going to use the grid lines to help me identify those two points. I'm looking for points along the line that intersects with the grid lines behind it, just to help me get a reading of my values. So I'm going to choose up here, which is going to be 20 and 28. That's my first set of coordinates, and my second coordinates are going to be 13 and 20. So now that I have my two coordinates, I can go ahead and substitute them into my equation to be able to calculate the gradient. So that is going to be 20 minus 28 over 13 minus 20, which gives me a gradient equal to 8 over 7. Now that I have my gradient, I can go ahead and calculate my y-intercept. Now substituting in the value of the gradient into my equation, y is going to equal to 8x over 7 plus c. So choosing a set of x and y values to substitute in, 20 is going to equal to 8 times 13 over 7 plus c. So 20 is equal to 14.8 six plus c so therefore c is going to equal to 5.14 so my y-intercept value is going to be 5.14 so the equation of my line of best fit is going to equal to y equals 8x over 7 plus 5.14 so I can now use that equation for my line of best fit to be able to plug in values to make predictions within my relationship. So that is an example of how do we calculate the equation of a line of best fit um, within a scatter plot.